Hey buddy, I'm back with another exciting video. This time, uh, I got a request to go over the legendary balls and the three different effects that they have. The air spin, top spin, ground spin. Currently did a older video on it covering it, but now they actually have all three kinds of spins. Now we can kind of go through it a little bit more in depth. So let's just jump in. We'll start with the fox ball. This is the animation for the fox ball. Best ball in the game in my opinion. The lucky person today is Ryan. We're going to be using your mat to sample this. Alrighty. So with top spin, what you're going to do is you'll hold the ball, and then you'll go forward and back. And that will give you top spin. So then you just put it back. Whoop, the ball will go forward. Conversely, if you go the other way, you can hold your ball, go backwards now, go forward, and then the ball will go backwards. You'll get back spin. So that's forward and back spin. It helps you get a lot more distance. So any ball that has front spin is preferred because distance is the best way to score low in this game. The next one is ground spin. In ground spin, think going clockwise and counterclockwise. So if we hold our ball now and we go clockwise, we're going to initiate spin that's going to be left to right. So there's our left to right spin. Conversely, if we go counterclockwise now, we're going to initiate spin that's going to go right to left. There we go. And with the fox ball or the triceratops ball, which I don't have, you can initiate two effects at once. So for example, you can do one front spin or you can do this twice and you can get yellow and that's two front spins, just more powerful. So we can do one, and let's just go a little bit. There we go. So that's a one. Now we can do a little bit more powerful, so same power. And we get a lot more distance, as you can see. But we can also go like this, for example, and then initiate the counterclockwise spin. Now it's going to go forward and right to left. Or conversely, we can do double back spin, counterclockwise spin, and then it'll do something like that. That's the fox ball. The next ball, which is very similar, is mini robot. The only difference is we have air spin versus ground spin now. So let's go back into Ryan's map. So we just covered the ground, the top spin. Here's our top spin. Now, ground spin was going clockwise or counterclockwise. The robot ball doesn't have that. It has air spin. So air spin, you're gonna be going left to right or right to left. So for this one, we'll go left. And now we can see we have air spin. Now it does more effect when it's in the air, but on the ground, it still will spin a little bit. So this will go right to left, just a little bit, not a lot. But where it really shines is when you get into the air. So now we do the same type of spin. So now we're gonna go left to right. Now we're gonna go over this ramp wasn't really good. Let's get a little bit more height. So you can see it's veering off path a little bit. So we line it straight up again. And then it's going... So that's what air spin does. When it gets in the air, the ball will go left or right a little bit more. It's a little bit easier to see, so Robot really doesn't have too much air spin. The Phoenix, you'll really start to see this now. So the Phoenix only has air spin but it has a vigorous amount, so it has three. So that's the bread and butter of what this ball does. So let's get over here. So if we go first on the ground, we can have one level, two levels, or three levels of spin. So this will have quite a bit of spin on the ground. So it's a little bit more comparable to the ground spin, but this is where we're gonna really shine. So whereas the robot only had one spin in the air, this one, you could either do one, now here's level two. You can see it's really going that way now. Or we can initiate level three. One, two, three. Now red is the most you can get. Now this is gonna be really turning. You can see that turned a lot. A lot of turn on there. So let's go the other way. Ton of curve on that ball. So that is how you initiate the air spin. Now, 
The armadillo only has ground spin, so as we only saw a little bit on the fox, armadillo is a lot crazier. So let's go through here now. So as you'll see, we now we have three levels of ground spin we can do. We can do cl clockwise, one spin. Clockwise, level two. That's level two. You can see that nice sharp curve it took in the end. Or we can do level three. So you can see we have a lip right here, so we can't go around it. But no issues with ground spin. Oops, sometimes it happens. All right, so we got that lip right there. Let's say we wanna go on the other side of the lip. We'll do three counterclockwise. We'll just go out a little bit, and then it's gonna bring us around. So now we're around it. For this, maybe I would just use two. There we go, and now we're around it. So ground spin is really cool, and that's re why I like the, um, the Fox Ball a little bit better than Mini Robot. Just because the fox can get around obstacles a little better. I generally don't have an issue getting in the air. But let's say, for example, I ended up right here. I could just, and let's say we didn't have this wall over here to bounce it. What I could do is just initiate one spin and see if I could just like angle it right, kind of like that. So if we didn't have this wall on the left side of us over here. We could just try to, because normally we wouldn't be able to get into the hole. But with the one spin, maybe somewhere in there. There we go. We'd be able to make that impossible shot otherwise. So I hope you found this guide useful and helpful. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in game.